family and close friends braved intermittent showers on Wednesday, September 28th for the annual memorial service at Shock Cemetery in honor of the lasting legacies of three giants of yesteryear. Brian Bernard, an ex-police commissioner, and the charismatic political firebrand of the 1970s, George Odlum, died 19 years ago, May hours apart, on the same day in 2003. Another contemporary, Jeff Elver, the mighty Pele, a multiple Calypso monarch and prodigious songwriter who transformed the Calypso landscape, died years later on the same date, September 28th. He is best remembered for a time-honored Christmas album. Close friend of the late Brian Bernard, Emma Hippolyte, who is currently the Commerce Minister, is among those who have stood vigil annually on September 28th at the gravesites of the eminent figures for close to two decades. I'm grateful that we are holding this ceremony. It's 19 years um, since the death, so it's 18 years since we, we come here, a small group of us remembering both Brother George and Mr. Bernard and those of us who remember they died on the same day and they were extremely close friends. I remember very clearly uh, Mr. Bernard and myself visiting Mr. Odlam at the hospital uh, and then within the week, within the Sunday, um, both of the, they died hours um, after one another. Mr. Odlam died first and then afterwards Mr. Mr. Bernard. So we just have to learn lessons in life that we are here for a very short time. And while we are here, we need to ensure that we do what the Lord has called us to do. Ensuring that our will is close to His. Nephew of the late George Odlum, Buffalo Odlum, says the annual pilgrimage to the Shock Cemetery transcends the political divide and supersedes any differences. In every year, I'm here with Auntie Emma and she, I mean like she said, there was a bond between the two of them and Brian Bernard. And the fact that it happened on that day, we've never forgotten her and she's never forgotten us. And every year she's here and I thank her on behalf of the Odlum family. Father of the nation, Sir John Compton, also succumbed in the month of September, but in 2007. Buffalo Odlum says the day of remembrance, albeit curtailed by the pandemic, is significant. He believes that reflecting on the past is crucial in moving forward, firing a return of the grandeur of the observance, hopefully when the world is truly staring at the pandemic through the rearview mirror of time. Brother George always spoke of peace. Brother Bernard always spoke of peace and, and society. Brother Pele always spoke of coming together and unity, socially, locally, and regionally. And Sir John, oh, the father of our nation, he was born with the vision. So these men we celebrate, and we forget everything else, that they were all honorary members of the St. Lucian community. And every year, the small group sometimes is larger, because of COVID, we are a bit restricted. But by next year, the usual group, we're going to come back together. The full reinstatement of the George Audler Memorial Lecture, an annual exercise, focused on the late politician and government minister's political style and engagement in trade unionism in St. Lucia is also planned. By next year, the lecture is going to be back. We didn't know that the protocols would have been relaxed. So we will come back next year in a formidable way. And um, it's going to be a little different because I think it's time we target the schools, especially the colleges and stuff, and the younger ones, to bring them into the fold of history as to what these four men had contributed to St. Lucia. Friends and relatives of Brian Bernard established the Brian Bernard Memorial Fund on August 12, 2004. The fund, administered by the National Community Foundation, promotes ethical behavior, human and Christian values through education, advocacy, and research. Brother George, Odlum as he was affectionately known, served as foreign minister during the Dr. Kenny Anthony-led administration in 1998 and UN ambassador under the UWP government in the 1990s. He was a key figure in the tumultuous 1979-1982 political period. Odlum helped shape the political landscape of St. Lucia, especially during the 1970s. Pele is best known for his songs as social commentary and politics for more than four decades. He passed away on September 28, 2011. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.